Welcome to the Trick Buster Show. What would you say, actually, if some mind fake came to you and used some very childish sleight of hand? What would you say if the same guy, can we really call him a magician? Use video edition trees as camera cut or frame planning and dare to say, what you see is what you get. Hey, sorry, excuse me, what's your name? It's Captain Muñoz. Okay, have we met before? No, we haven't. Sometimes the old trick is based on this only statement. Remember that the word of a magician during his performance has less value than a fake coin. And remember, remember my magic doesn't exist. exist. Only beep, 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 beep. What happens? Oh my god! My fake is performing! My fake! Trick busters go! Ugh. One minute, just one minute. Yeah? Okay, what's your name? It's Petit Munoz. Okay, so I want to show you something. You're gonna think about something, okay? You lock it in your mind. Think, 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 okay? And I give you this pen. Have you got a piece of paper? Okay. Okay, perfect. Everything is fair, okay? You take it and you're gonna draw it and I turn back and I hide my eyes so I cannot see it. Is it okay, yeah? Fair? Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, are you drawing? Yes. Okay, so you draw it. I don't want a camera to see your drawing. Okay, is it fair? Okay. Perfect. Is it done? I want you to fold it. Yes. Is it done? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I scare you? I'm a magician. Okay, so you've got it. Have we met before? No. Okay, no. Uh, it's very important. It's very clear. Uh, we never met before. Okay, so you see, I've got nothing in here, nothing in here, no ifs. Okay. I'm going to to guess it. Okay. I I don't know if I will. I will try. Okay. Mm, it's something, I see, it's a small thing. Um, okay, think about it. Um, I see keys. I can see, I can see ringtones. Oh, it makes some noise. It's a, is it a mobile phone? Whoa! Okay, show it to the camera. Yeah. Show it to the camera. Okay, now watch. I've got nothing in my arms. Touch, touch. I've got nothing in the sleeves. Look, nothing, nothing at all. Okay, is it fair? Is it fair enough? Okay, now watch closely. Okay, so it's a magic mirror, okay? You put the paper just in front of the mirror, please. Okay, I put my hands like this, okay? Put it just behind my hands, okay? Perfect, get down, get down, perfect. Okay, take it out, take it, oh, look at beep, that. Beep, 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 oh, they're calling me. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, hello. Go. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Yes, yeah, I'm performing the trick. Yeah, goodbye, ma'am. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, oh holy shit. Oh, yeah. We're gonna clean that. Wow! Mind fake. Remember, magic doesn't exist, only tricks. Since until now nobody could demonstrate under serious and scientifically controlled conditions that he could read the mind of any individual, we can reasonably deduce that our deceiver is not an exception and does not possess the power he pretends to have. Since there is no way he can guess the drawing of Skeptic Munoz, the camera doesn't shoot the drawing, mind fake is turned back, has his eyes blindfolded and nothing in the ears, but what for? No accomplice can see the drawing either. There is only one way to do that. The deceiver knows what the man is drawing, simply because he told him 
what to draw. The trick is based, one, on the only statement on the deceiver that they've never met before. Have we met before? No. But both are lying. Two, the good acting of the so-called victim. Off camera, before shooting, the deceiver just has to stop randomly a person on the street or simply pick up an actor from an agency, propose him a few dollars to draw a mobile phone and simulate surprise and amazement when the deceiver supposedly guesses it. Who would refuse this innocent proposition? Everybody would do that just for the pleasure of entertainment and a few dollars. Now remind that most of the greatest illusions of our mind fake are performed this way with the acting of fake innocent audience and real accomplices. When the mobile phone appears as taken out from the mirror, well, it actually appears to be taken out from the hands of the mind fake. But how could he do that since he let the person examine his lips and arms thoroughly? Well, it's just a cinema trick. Between these two scenes there is a camera cut, a simple camera cut, magic of video. The video edition program of Mindfake is his favorite magic wand. Between those two scenes, the deceiver took the mobile phone in his hand and hid it just as magicians do in most of their sleight of hand tricks. Then he does some misdirection, spectator being concentrated on the sheet of paper in the mirror. Meanwhile, the deceiver quickly passes his hand in front of the mirror to gather the other hand and pretends he takes the mobile phone from inside the magic mirror. He has to be quick since you could see the reflection of the mobile phone in the mirror. With this childish trick, you can take out from the mirror whatever tiny thing that fits in your hand. A toothbrush, a bird, a ten dollar bill, a cigar. If our mind fake would end his show making a handkerchief vanish into the mirror, he'd just have to collect slowly the tissue in his hands, gather his arms in order to pass it behind them. The camera would suddenly come closer to hide the third person collecting the handkerchief, and the camera would go back immediately to show there is no assistant helping. The deceiver could even perform this trick using an elastic tied to the handkerchief and pulling the tissue back in his sleeves. I am the mind fake, mind fake, mind fake.